Hello there and welcome back. In this video I would like to show you how you can deploy your first JupyterLite website on GitHub pages. So basically what we would like to do is to take the JupyterLite template repository and go to use this template. And basically we would like to create a new repository and we are going to tell that this is the name. You can choose any kind of name that you want. This is from the Jupyter Lite demo repo. And what we have to do after this is basically uh, create the repository. This will be a public repository. And after that, we will have to go to the Actions tab on the repository and ensure that workflows are enabled. So let's check the repositories. Here on the Actions tab, we have the workflow enabled. And once this is enabled, what we can do is to check whether or not this deployment has succeeded. Now it's currently in progress and under deployment. I'm not sure how much time it would take, but after the deployment completes, we should be able to check our repository based on this URL. So let's wait for it to complete. And after that, we will visit the reaperpy.github.io and forward slash reaperpy light, if that's the correct. That's the correct one. And we are still <gasps> waiting. So until we are waiting, what uh, you have to do, our oh, build has completed, now it should be deploying, uh, is that uh, Jupyter Lite is a version of the Jupyter Notebook. Fail to create deployment and GitHub pages are enabled. And basically what we have to check is how we can enable GitHub pages on repo. And publishing source settings under build deployment, source deployment, under build deployment, branch use, the none or branch drop down menu and select a publishing source, GitHub action, great. And now under the actions, we should try and run once again the workflow. And we should be able to run it. GitHub rerun workflow. Actions, we select it and under there we should be able to rerun it. And 
and rerun all job. No, just a failed one. So now if it succeeds we should be able to see it. Oh, it's deploying to GitHub pages. And a few seconds. Hmm. This can be accessed here. And voila. It's now loading. And basically, now what we can do is to start and execute or play with the notebooks. So now what you have is your own basic uh, Jupyter Lite installation. So this is how you can set it up for yourself to experiment or try it out. See you in the next one.